Rashad Whipple, co-founder of Urban Embodiment. It's a lot going on right now. Hey, but we're here. We have it's a lot of black excellence in this building right now. So we're gonna have some fun with it. Say one more time. Well listen, I wanna tell y'all right now, this is an amazing event. It is. I seen some of the, I done tasted some of the best drinks in the world. Understand if you like drinks, you don't like it more than I do. Right now, I'm telling everybody. That Duke and Dave salted caramel whiskey. Y'all sure don't, like don't like it more than me. <laughs> but make sure y'all try that out, man. But I want to shout out Lazar, Favors, man, from Young Village, putting this taste of black spirits together. It really is an amazing event, man. Trust me, you want to make sure you support black owned. And fellas, I'm going to ask y'all a question. I didn't realize it was this many black owned spirits out there. No, me neither. So what I'm excited about. I mean, I'm excited that obviously that there's so many, there's so many black spirit company owners, but I'm also excited that they're working together. What you? I'm, I'm just saying, like you know, us as the people, sometimes. What you sometimes. just said right there, and I literally just put it on my Instagram and my Facebook. By the way, you can follow us at Urban Embodiment 313. I just put it on there. This is black excellence. Don't let nobody tell you that we don't work together. Exactly. This right here. Right. It's people working together, especially when they all got brands that are similar. Exactly. They, but they, even though they're competing, they, they still not, working they're together. Yeah, they're still working they competing, together. but they're not competition. Exactly, right. man. They're, so they're, trust me, you want to take that Urban Embodiment. What, like, what is Urban it? Urban Embodiment, man. We are a company, me and my partner, Lakeisha Copeland, shout out to her. She's the co-founder. Okay. We do all types of events. We started off doing like Fonda Bay Speed Date events. We work with like the Tigers, the Pistons. Okay. Um, we worked with Arts Beats and Eats. Yeah. And we transitioned to doing a little bit of everything. Okay. We done did small business expos. Yeah. But we done had like 15 to 20 local vendors from the Detroit area. Okay. We expanded to Lansing, yeah. Toledo. Okay. We doing in Las Vegas. Yeah. And we brought all that together, man, because we want our mission statement. And that's why I love this, yeah. is bringing people together sure. through social events. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And like I said, actually, we got an event coming up February 26th okay. in Southfield, the meeting space. Right. It's called the Martin Pop-Up Experience. Yeah. It's Black History Month. Sure. So we're going to celebrate right. one of the yeah. most iconic yeah. black television shows of all time. Yeah. And like I said, we got tickets for that on Eventbrite, man. So okay. check it out, come out. And I think that's all ages from 12 to 8. Yeah. Then from 9 to 1, we're going to throw the babies away. We're going to have a yeah. 90s throwback party. So get your British stakes. Get your truth. Get your cross colors. Get your guests. We're going to have a good time. You understand? Man, I, I'm a, I ain't heard British stakes. I'm going to find my whole African medallion. Well, that might be the 80s, but it's all good, man. Well, you can put the quarters in the bank. You understand? You understand? I'm going to ask you this, though. I know y'all put together social events. How hard has it been doing it? Pandemic, so like man, going. that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. It has been hard, man. I'm gonna be honest. Um, we had one get the PPP loan, but we did it the right way. We did it the right way, so we, we're not gonna get in trouble. Right. But also, um, and this is no, you know, this is not a knock against our governor. I'm not one of them folks. Right. But Michigan has some of the tighter constraints and restraints than some of the other states. Right. But in return, in return, it was a blessing because it forced us to go out, expand our market. That was the first time we went to Toledo. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Because they had a little bit of different um, openings in Ohio. Yeah. And what it taught me, and what it probably teaches a lot of these business owners here is, don't be scared to test the waters. No matter what, if you got something that works, right. it works in Detroit, it works in Lansing, it works in Grand Rapids, it works in Alabama. Right. It's a brother out there selling water. He right. said he's from Alabama. <laughs> but we know we need water, right? Right. We know we, so why not get it from a brother? You understand what I'm talking about? I'm a little animated, guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So what's the event that kicked all this off for you all? Well, like I said, the very first event was Find a Base Speed Day. Okay. And it started because my partner was like, she had went to a speed dating event. Gotcha. And it wasn't a lot of us there. You know what I'm saying? So she the only sister and a CEO, you know what I'm saying, white boys. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. She said she wanted to do something like that, but she wanted to have it for us. Because, you know, it's a lot of people. Yes, we have married people, but it's a lot of single people that are 30 and up that's been divorced. Right. And, been, and they don't even know where to go. Right. They're trying everything. They do online dating. They're trying to they look it up with friends and friends. Like, yeah. I, I was married and divorced. And I remember I was married, you know, and I remember my best friend told me after I got out of my divorce, she said, 
you ain't gonna be ready for this. I said, what? She said, you been with somebody for all these years. Now you gotta get back in the game. And I understand. Back in the day, I was out here. So I'm thinking it's the same pimp level. She was like, it, you it can meet same. people, but their energies is off. Oh, so she, man. we built something. We also have a Facebook group called Singles Dating in Detroit. Um, the concept, like I said, was just a couple people mix and mingle. Understand, we have had like five or six couples get married through our events. Okay. However, even if they don't get married, we built some dope relationships. We had male, female, and even women, women, man, men started businesses together, all types of stuff, man. So that's what it, we really, we kind of tricked them with thinking it was just dating. But once they get in there and interact, they like, because one thing you learn, like, is y'all brothers doing this podcast, that's dope. I'm up here talking, but everybody don't have that gift of gab. Everybody ain't as outward as this. Everybody not trying to talk to everybody. But sometimes, you know, if you get around like-minded people, you open up. Yeah, say open less, up. man. Are y'all here with these brothers sitting on this podcast right now? They giving y'all some gems too, man. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you for coming back, man. Thank you a lot, man. Oh, they're loving your jacket, though, bro. Hey, look, you got the coldest jacket in the game. You right better now. talk to them, man. Over <laughs> the body with 313. See y'all later, fellas. All right, man.